uh, it's been uh, run by either the CD Linux Forum or by the Core Embedded Linux Project of the Linux Foundation. And uh, it's been used for a lot of different things, kind of strange things. <laughs> and uh, But one of the best things about the site uh, is that uh, it has, oh, let's see, did I cover? Yeah, the, the middle bullet there. It's a repository for all of the slides and videos for Embedded Linux Conference. So that's over 20 years worth of conference materials that are online at the site. And that is probably the most active and well-maintained section of the site. Um, but it also has uh, sections for hardware technology, and uh, it was used to manage contract work uh, for the C Linux Forum and the Core Embedded Linux Project. And uh, it was sponsored for many years by the Linux Foundation. So the current status is it's hosted at Open Source Labs uh, at Oregon State University. It's got uh, 29,000 pages. Uh, out of those, uh, 3,000 are content pages. The other pages are miscellaneous things. Um, administration pages, and uploaded files, and things like that. Uh, it's administered by, uh, our administrator's name is Bill Trainer. And the big news is that this year, Bill was hired by the Linux Foundation. So he, he's a full-time paid administrator. So that's actually really good. Um, in terms of current activity, the ELC event pages are consistently created and updated. Um, and actually, like I said, if you want to follow along on these slides, these slides are the first slides up for this conference. Uh, but we have the page, and we'll be filling that in uh, with all of the other slides as they appear, and the videos as they appear. So we'll have links to the YouTube videos. So if there's anything you've missed at this conference, uh, you'll be able to uh, catch up and, and see that. We think that's actually a really a big benefit to the community. So I, I use the site myself, okay? So uh, I don't like this term, but uh, there is a term in the industry called eating your own dog food. <clears throat> and uh, I eat my own dog food because I go out and just the other day, I've decided to get into build systems and I've been playing around with Yocto. And I went out and watched some Yocto videos and looked at some slide decks about Yocto, some of the basic principles. Uh, Toradex also updates a bunch of stuff. They have embedded webinar, Linux webinars. Uh, there's um, actually the BuildRoot people just used it for a couple of pages related to their conference over the weekend. Um, and uh, Jetson and BIPA panel, some hardware information has showed up. So it's not. It, it's, it's not hugely active. That's kind of one of the reasons I want to get out and do a little bit more promotion of it. But it is being used for things and some interesting things. Uh, one of the things I skipped over was, uh, let me see. Uh, well, anyway, there's uh, educational activities. Some, there were some, uh, there was a university that hosted a bunch of pages for their students to go describe their projects. Right? I, I think it's perfectly appropriate. It doesn't really interfere that much with the name, main namespace, and it's a place where additional uh, embedded information uh, content is available. So some of the things I would like to see, this, is, this session is not really about what I want to do. It's what, uh, as an ecosystem, as embedded Linux developers, we want to do. Um, but I think it would be nice to clean up some of the old content, so remove some of the obsolete material. Um, we started a project called Categorized Presentations, where we're taking all the eLinux presentations. Right now, th there's just each year we have the list of presentations. And actually, they're usually in order of presentation, which is not that useful. It'd be nice to get them into topic categories. And so we started to work on that. We did pretty well up until 2019, and then COVID hit us. And uh, so we kind of need, we'd like to resurrect that project, put all the device tree presentations on one page, put all the boot time presentations, all the update presentations, get those organized so that if people are looking for um, material on a particular topic, they can find it more easily. Of course, you can search, and Google has a pretty good index of, of what's going on there, but um, I always thought that that would be a, a nice thing. Uh, the other thing that I'd like to do is actually fund some projects specifically related to uh, the wiki uh, and maybe to embed, general embedded Linux. And then there's also 
We do have some volunteer pages out there, so, which is kind of the eLinux wiki equivalent of kernel newbies. Uh, if you are looking, at, if you have a spare, you know, afternoon and you want to look for something to do, we have a list of projects that we'd like people to work on. And oh, I forgot. Uh, we're gonna do okay. So let's talk about funding. So Linux, we finally did last as of last year. We set up a crowdfunding site. So the Linux Foundation does crowdfunding for a lot of different activities. So there is a place, if you want to, you can donate. Um, we have $10,000 in the account right now. Uh, and so there's money in there that we can go out and we can actually pay for people to work on the, on the wiki if we want to. Or whatever we want to use that money for uh, kind of to advance the ecosystem. Um, so the C Linux forum has shut down and the Core Embedded Linux project has shut down. There are, a, there's just a little bit of funds left that could also be donated if it seems like this is gonna be a good place to put that money. So um, if we can get consensus that the, we, this is something that's worth reviving, uh, that would be good. In terms of LF crowdfunding, the great thing is that the LF pays all the administration fees for that. So we can accept credit cards and the LF pays for the credit card fees. So it's actually there, it's a nice service that they provide for open source projects. Um, so that went really quick when, when I was gonna watch my clock and see how much time we have. So it's it's 1.30 right now. What, what do, there, here's some ideas I've had in the past. Uh, should we actually pay, have like a bug bounty program or a fixed bounty program where we say, look, if you fix a bounty, we'll, we'll give you a prize and we'll give you a little bit of money. Uh, we can take out of that general fund and just pay people to make fixes or updates. Um, the other thing I think would be good is to establish more clear governance. Uh, right now, it's, it's pretty much just me and Bill. Uh, but I think that there are other people, and I'm really sad that uh, Michael Optenacker is not here because he's been active on the site before. I think he would make a, uh, an excellent um, committee member for, I was gonna try and twist his arm and maybe he'll be here later today. I think he had weather-related delays or something. Um, uh, but I think it'd be good instead of just having a, me make all the decisions or Bill make decisions, uh, actually have major donors uh, involved in some kind of uh, committee to, dis to establish the governance. And then marketing and outreach. I think a lot of people in the community don't know about it. Um, and I think it'd be useful to kind of promote it better than it has been. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna do two things. Um, first, who here has uh, an account on the eLinux Wiki? What? Are you, are you a wiki I am a wiki administrator. Can you reset the 24 hours? <laughs> because it doesn't have the thing. Oh, just a sec. Yeah, I was. I, I think I'm prepared for this. Uh, I'm going to go off off script here. Here we go. And I'm going to go over. I know I'm running Windows. I apologize. Uh, it's a long story. This is my work machine. Oh, that's 23 presentation. Let me, let me go through um, special pages. And here, here's the thing. Okay, first, first order of business. Okay, for those of you that already had uh, an eLinux Wiki account, I have a piece of candy. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. This is convenient because it's almost Halloween in the United States. So, uh, I don't know here. There's one, there's one. Okay, who else, who else has a wiki account? Okay, uh, I don't know. We're gonna test my throwing abilities. There you go. Okay, uh, do you wanna, uh, it's, it's a mini. Oh, good catch. Okay, who else? Okay. I'll let you, okay. And in the spirit of, anyone, anyone else have an account? Okay, here's the deal. If you make an account right now, I will give you a piece of candy. <laughs> and I will approve it live during the session. Okay, so uh, admittedly, okay, 
this is this is the, these bug bounty programs in open source are kind of interesting, right? Because um, I'm going to give you a piece of candy, and I'm going to get like your professional help with the project that's probably worth I don't know $120 an hour or $200 an hour, and I'm going to give you like you know like one of these. Uh, so, but that's not really the thing. Really, uh, I, I was a scoutmaster for many years. It's, it's a long story, but uh, it turns out that. Uh, the, the joy of achievement is kind of more important than what the actual reward is. Uh, that's what I found in scouting. And I think the same thing is, is true in open source, right? The, 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 uh, actually getting something done and seeing it be used is, uh, is, is very valuable. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up. If anyone, where, where is it? Where are they? I tried to familiarize myself. I have not been great at this confirm account requests okay so oh there is one open request is that someone in the room authors no okay so here's something you're going to figure out yeah that's a garbage okay so we get spam accounts trying to get created all the time um let me and where, where's the actual, I'm trying to, where's the button to, uh, I got it, sorry, I got to review, there it is. Unfortunately, I'm going to decline this one because I happen to know it's, a lot of these things just show up, yeah, 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 okay, I'm going to reject that one. Okay. Um, and I'll, I'll check open requests towards the end of the session if anybody. Um, OK, so this is one thing we could do is hand out candy at, at uh, Oops, look at that. What, what do people want to see from the eLinux wiki? Or do you have any opinions at all? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Thomas on the spot here. He just took a bite. <laughs> but so how did it work to use it for the build root dev days? Does it? Useful to have a shared, shared vendor neutral place to put information. So there you go. <laughs> our first, our a testimonial. Maybe we should put you on the marketing de de department. <laughs> um, okay. So do you guys have accounts on the eLinux wiki? Yes, I think so. Oh, all right. Check it out. Oh, sorry. OK. So what, uh, maybe I should get back to my presentation. So what do people want to do out here? So I've tried, over the years, I've tried to collect information in various areas. So there's an area on board farm um, equipment. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just about to do a big dump on boot time stuff, uh, because that's what I worked on for plumbers. Uh, this year is uh, I've got some new tools for for doing boot time stuff uh, But uh, I would like to really kind of open it up and say what what do people want to see on the wiki or what ideas? Do you have to kind of? Uh, uh, make it a better resource for the whole ecosystem So and I know that's an open-ended question But any anybody have anything they want to say? Okay, so let me ask. Uh, let me ask a different. Let me get back to my presentation then. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, this candy offer. If you uh, this, uh, I should have put this more formally, and I'll put a page on the wiki about this candy offer. If you make an edit uh, before the end of ELC, I will figure out a way to get you a piece of candy. <laughs> And I can tell that from the recent changes. So I'll see your, and I know who mo I know who a lot of you are. If I if I don't know who you are personally, then and hit me up in the hallway. And say I made an edit, and I'll probably believe you and just give you a piece of candy. Uh, so I don't want to tell you how to game the system immediately. Yeah, Alan. Else? 
Well, we do have some Yocto information out there. We have a lot of presentations on Yocto, and we have some material. There's a bunch of Android stuff, but it's really dated. The Android stuff is dated. It turns out that Google was, you know, rotating and change, changing how they did AOSP uh, just a lot over the first couple of years. And so a lot of the stuff had to do with Android uh, cupcake and donut, uh, which are like super old now. Um, but uh, I, okay, so my personal preference, I, I, again, I want this to kind of be a discussion. I'd rather not put Zephyr stuff on there or NutX stuff on there. It has Linux in the name. And I don't want to dilute it, but I don't know. I, I but I'm I'm interested to hear if people have counter arguments. So I know you're a nut X guy. Yeah, I, d I don't mind putting on the front page a link to other other RTOSs. That that doesn't bother me, and and you could either vector off to like a Zephyr specific, you know, whole other site or a Zeph or a NutX site, or you could stay on site and have. I mean, we could create a namespace. It 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 doesn't like I don't view Zephyr and Linux as being really in competition. Uh, there, sure, there's some overlap. There's uh, some places where you might use one or the other and have a choice. But a lot of times, it's pretty clear that, like, you know, if you're super low end, you're not going to get Linux on there. And if you're, if you're doing AI research, you're probably not using Zephyr. Uh, and there's, you know, anyway, so yeah. Right, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I agree. The, the big issue, though, is people have to be willing to go on to this site and actually maintain it, right? And so I maintained the Android stuff. It was kind of a labor of love for myself for a couple of years. And then I, at my work project, I switched off of the mobile phones. and I went into a different division. And so I wasn't, you know, I wasn't working with Android on a day-to-day -day basis. And so that's kind of, and I didn't, I didn't get a successor maintainer for that area of the site. It was kind of on me. But um, So Yoshi, do you want to comment on how much money might be available from, uh, from Core Embedded Linux Project? Do you know how much more is in the pot that might get donated? Yeah, I think more than 10,000. So, OK, so we have probably a little bit more than 10,000 that we could fund. Okay, so I actually, instead of, instead of tossing out candy, I thought, well, how many people will be in the, in the thing, and how about if I sweeten the deal and made it like $5 euro notes? <laughs> so that's a little bit better than a piece of candy, but I still don't know if it's enough to, to drive, you know, drive engagement. And I'd have to figure out a way to kind of launder the money out of the crowdfunding account into cash, which I'll have to figure that out. Uh, so I don't know. What do people think about a bug bounty pro project, or, or just hiring someone to work on content? Right? We've never had someone who hire, who was paid to work on content. Yeah. I do not know the traffic stats. Uh, I think there is a special page on traffic, but I, I don't know how accurate it is. I think my impression is that the, um, and I think to get to the track, well, OK, I, this is super dangerous. I'm going to try and look at it right now. Uh, where, if I was, uh, let me refresh this. Oh, hey, we got two, uh, two people 
I'm going to go ahead and approve these. <laughs> Is there someone in the room? KSS? I'm gonna, just going to assume it is. There you go. Who was that? Who gets a piece of candy? Oh, no one, no one. Okay. Hopefully I didn't just approve a spam account. <laughs> okay. Um, create account. Okay. And let's, uh, let's do one more. Where, where do I get to special pages? There's easier ways to do this. I, I saw, sorry, this is like, oh, what I need to do, it's my, that's my problem. Can't see. There we go. Confirm account requests. Oh, okay, there's a person. Okay, is, is <laughs> That looks like not a not a spam account, surprisingly. <laughs> Is it you? All right. Here you go. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you the whole bag, and you are now my candy distributor. <laughs> OK, so if you want a piece of candy, go to, is it Lucas? Oh, it's open source. Okay, now it's open candy. Um, okay, uh, I didn't actually finish doing this. Create account. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, one of the special pages is stats, right? Does anybody know where, where stats are in a media wiki thing? Well, I passed it. Okay. Which section? Yeah, this one. Data and tools? Yeah. Oh, there it is. That's about how many pages. Oh, that's just pages and stuff. Yeah. Was there a, was there a usage one? I use, uh, I'm not missing. All the way down? Oh, okay. What links here? Mostly. Okay, high use pages is the section. Okay, there we go. Okay, most linked to. Okay, well, that actually doesn't show runtime stats though, right? Yeah, I think this is static analysis of the site. Yeah, I'm probably open source. This is run by Open Source Labs, like I said, uh, OSU. And so they probably have uh, stats for the website. And I should get a hold of those. And it'd be good to know which pages get hit. I'd be really surprised if, if we, the MediaWiki engine isn't getting those stats on a per page basis. Because uh, it has to, it's a CGI script. It has to deliver the page anyway. So, um, so uh, back to the question: Is it worth? We don't know if it's worth investing in until we know if anybody's using it. It's kind of a chicken and egg problem, right? So, um, well, what what are? Okay, so let me phrase this a different way. What would be really useful information to have as an embedded Linux developer? What would be really good to put on the site? So we, yeah. yeah. Uh, it would be nice uh, to have a way to do the first boot on any platform. So a list of platforms, SDC okay. mostly, or something else, and just have a way to compile everything, flash it, and have Linux running. So okay. Just, just bring up, and this is this is not bring up from a like uh, developer standpoint. Like, this is just bring up from a user, right? I just got a new dev board. It's like, how do I get Linux on this thing? I think that's a great suggestion. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna go to. Yeah, 
Yeah, how much, so the question is, how much work is that to keep the Renaissance board stuff up to date? I'm not, uh, I will find a... Okay, so hold on here. Okay, list of stuff people want. Okay, any other? On my side, I find the, the topic portals that you have on the front page really, really great. And you want to, for people who are newcomers, like you know, graphics, or what, what's, what's in the graphics phase, or an overview update, or real time, there's great topic portals. But what's behind nowadays is fairly. It's dated. Updated. Yeah. And, but when you have dated content, it's hard, right? Even if you want to change it, you don't know what to throw away. Yeah, it's sometimes starting from blank page is easier than having like it's like code, right? Refactoring is sometimes more difficult than Yeah, that is a good observation. Yeah. So one, one idea I had about the, the obsolete materials problem, right, obsolete content, is that just to like once a month pick a, a content area and say, if we have a group of interested volunteers say, hey, can we just review like these 20 pages this month and just look for stuff that is obsolete? The problem is, right, you got to get kind of subject matter experts. Right, it's not easy. Like you said, as a as a newbie, as someone who's new to the site or new to embedded Linux, it's like it's really hard to know. It's like, well, are is anybody still using Print K Times? Well, I think they are actually, right? Or are they still using uh, what's one I ran across? So I just I just have been in the boot up area. So like, uh, do the system tap boot monitoring scripts? Do those work anymore? I don't know. And so it's like, do I delete that? It's really hard. It's hard to know what to delete. I, removing information, like you said, is hard. And I, I totally agree that as a, as a new person coming onto the site, well, like if you come to, like if you're new to Device Tree, right? If we have, even if we have that page listing all the presentations on Device Tree for the past 10 years, it's like, well, what are you, you going to do with that? It's too much, right? And so we try, I tried to have a system where we'd put a star by the ones that we thought were like, you know, start here. But it, again, it requires, it requires system, you know, ex, experts in that area to make those selections. So. How about a process for deprecating content? What? A process for deprecating content. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a good idea. Yeah. Well, one of the things that MediaWiki does provide is the ability to um, see when the last update of a page was. I think we could probably get last access. And if it hasn't been accessed in several years, it's like, yeah. And again, let's go, uh, I'm kind of torn on how much to actually save, just a sec. Um, because I know that this is getting archived by the Wayback Machine. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna say the Wayback Machine is my backup, but, but like for super old content, right? If you're using a board from 2010 and you can't find it on the eLinux Wiki, well, you know, check the 2010 eLinux Wiki and, and uh, so, but we could, the other alternative is to have like an actual obsolete section. Say, we, th we think this information is obsolete, 
so we can declutter the main workspace. Uh, but you know, we keep the there's no harm in keeping the information around. It's not a ton of the biggest thing on here by far are the presentations. The actual content pages are trivial in terms of the disk storage. So yeah, Alan, you had something. I'm sorry, say it again. Okay. Okay, say that second thing again. Sorry. Okay. Okay, are you talking about realistic uh, minimum requirements to run like Linux on a board? Okay. Okay. Um, Got to be watching the time here a little bit. Uh, any any other ideas for things we should do? Is it worthwhile to run some some bug bounty projects, or is that is that? Oh. Okay, so there is a mailing list. By the way, if you go to the volunteers page, which I you probably saw I got onto just quickly. At the bottom of that page, there it has a link to the e, the mailing list. There's a mailing list where we can discuss stuff. Uh, and there's also a link to the donations, the crowdfunding site. So if, if, if this presentation has been so inspiring that you want to throw money at this, then you can. You have the uh, ability to. Um, but uh, so I would like to, but I went out and checked the mailing list. And so I'm one of the big promoters of the Linux Wiki, and I was the last person to send something to the list, and it was in 2020. <laughs> So that, that tells you kind of the state. It's not good. Uh, but again, I, I, I really think this is a valuable site. Or, you know, it's like a lot of, it takes a lot of work to get the infrastructure set up for this type of thing. And it's already here. So I, I would hate to see it just kind of disappear and go unused, right? So, um, so what I, one of the things I'd like to do is I'd like to get an interested parties list. And uh, I think the easiest way to do that is, I mean, if so I can't, I can't go through all 3,000 user accounts and find out the interested parties. So I, I think a, a better indicator for me is going to be if someone's subscribed to the eLinux Discuss mailing list, then maybe they're an interested party. So, so that is my plea to you. OK, so one of the things I noticed in the keynotes today is Almost every keynote ends with a plea for someone to get involved in some new open source project. It's like, okay. It's, it, it, sometimes you go to these conferences and it's like a plea exhaustion. Um, and uh, but if you think this could be a valuable resource, right? It's not gonna it's not gonna write itself. And uh, so I will continue to um, work on this stuff. I gotta make sure I'm not going over time here. Um, but uh, but I, pro I can't do it alone. I mean, you can see when one man's trying to do it, it's not working that great. Um, so if you are, so here's my challenge. If you are, if you do have any kind of interest, please subscribe to the eLinux Discuss mailing list. There are a couple of different mailing lists listed on the volunteers page, and uh, but the one you want to subscribe to is eLinux Discuss or eLinux Wiki Discuss, not eLinux Discuss. That's I got to make that distinction. Elix Discuss is a separate page, and that is for, uh, we use that in the Embedded Linux Leadership Summit, uh, you, which you can also, if you're interested in that, but that's a separate thing. <laughs> so, but eLinux Wiki Discuss is the one you want to get on. If, if, you, if you think you can stand getting emails from me uh, discussing this same topic, if you want to extend this conversation afterwards. Oh, Wikidev? Well, maybe it's Wikidev. Probably whatever's on the page is what you should be using. It's, it's Wikidev? Wiki dash dev? Is it Elinux Wikidev? Yeah, Elinux Wikidev. Okay. Yeah, subscribe to that. And uh, 
in the future, you could get even more candy at these events. <laughs> okay, any, any other, um, we only have like about two minutes left. Any other uh, ideas or? Is there a way to, to propose changes to a page instead of just editing it? So if I have some opinionated controversial changes I would like to make to have just someone else say, that looks okay? Uh, yes, there's, I would say there's two ways. Okay, so the talk pages, right, in, in MediaWiki in general, that's what the talk pages are for. If, if, you have, if you want to discuss something about the content on a page. But, you, but someone has to be watching those. And so I would say, if, if you have a suggestion for a page but you're not sure, put it on the talk page and then send an email to uh, eLinux Wiki Dev. And then we can have a conversation there. I think it's much easier to have conversations in, you know, in MediaWiki, you know, Wikipedia, they have all these long threads in the talk pages. Like, uh, it's, it's really cumbersome. I don't, I don't like that style of, uh, my, personally, I don't like that style of doing it. I think it's much easier just to respond to an email. Um, so yeah, if you have suggestions for individual pages, um, then please send them in. And, and again, there are, it would be really nice, okay, this is my, this is my dream vision. It'd be really nice to find uh, maintainers for different pages, right? So I'm willing to be the maintainer for the, boot, the whole boot time subsection. And I'm gonna try and revive that over the next six months or so. I've got a bunch of uh, material, new material. There's some new tests that are gonna be coming into K-Self test on boot time and I'm actually, later this week, I'm proposing a new tool to, to do auto tuning of your boot time. Uh, and so hopefully a bunch of new information. But uh, I, I really take to heart what Thomas said about you, as a new, new person, you come in and you look at a page, it's like you don't know what the new information is versus the old. And so it's like, you know, you don't, you, you, my new tool, if I'm not careful, it'll just get buried in a long list of tools and so that's, that's an interesting topic of how to, how to highlight the important stuff. Yeah? Is there any onboarding process page in the Wikipedia community? Yes, if you suggest to create an account. Okay, and I should explain this a little bit. Um, we don't let just uh, the general public uh, make edits because we don't have enough maintainer bandwidth to, re to fight spam. So you have to have an account to, and if you go on there and you try to create an account, it will go to this site that I was just doing, confirming accounts. Um, so, uh, and we, the only reason we do that, we know that it creates a barrier for contributions because you can't just do a drive-by contribution, but we, when we first did the eLinux Wiki, it was open and the spam got to be too bad, so we, we had to close it down. Um, we were spending all of our administrator time on spam. So, unfortunately, it's unfortunate, but uh, you do have to have an account, uh, confirmed account to, to contribute. Okay, well, it's 201, I've gone over my allotted time. I thank you for missing a part of your lunch to come here, and uh, I will, um, I will save this page right now, and, and then I will also send kind of a, a let's get going announcement, uh, create page. I'll do a let's get going announcement on the eLinux wiki dev uh, mailing list. So if you're on that list and you wanna help out, um, then I, it'd be very happy to have you. And uh, hopefully this doesn't contribute to your to your plea exhaustion for the conference. So anyway, thanks a lot.